This video is being taken at the Dickinson Research Extension Center, uh, southwest of Manning, North Dakota. Uh, the project you're looking at is a SARE project that is designed to evaluate the, uh, the effects of a diverse cropping system and the integration of beef cattle production in that cropping system. And in the foreground, of course, you're looking at sunflowers. Uh, in, the, in the background is spring wheat. In addition to those two crops, we have uh, fields of corn. Now this isn't grain corn in this situation, although it could be, but it's uh, forage corn, more silage type varieties, 90, 95 day corns. And the other crop that we're growing is a, a field pea and, and barley crop. That field pea and barley crop that you can see coming into the viewfinder here is, uh, has been swathed and it was swathed in the uh, about two weeks ago and this swathing was done because the cattle are still grazing native pastures and it's really not time to come in here and leave those pastures to come and graze the the um, field pea and and uh, a barley mixture actually this barley is a Stockford uh, variety of barley a, a grazing type barley and since those steers weren't ready to come in here, we swathed the barley in order to uh, capture nutrient quality. And we expect these steers to uh, be uh, put on these fields about the, uh, about the third week of August. They will graze here, and when they finish grazing these field pea and barley fields, they will then move to the, the corn that you see in the background. They'll graze out that corn and then move over to another crop that we have seeded that is at the end of this sunflower field and that's a that's a cover crop that has a number of different seeds in it um, brassicas, uh, radishes and turnip and everleaf oat there's a uh, hairy vetch seeded in there as well as uh, field pea uh, there's also um, sunflower and um, that mix of crops of course is, is uh, creating an excellent soil uh, interface that will take place in there and, and produce um, increasing soil quality. The organic matter of the fields that you see in this video are is fairly high averaging somewhere around 3% organic matter and that's pretty good. Uh, that's a good level to be at. Uh, our goal would be to move forward to through the crop rotation and the manures and, and urine that are, are put out on these fields from the cattle uh, to in move forward so that we would have probably a four or even if we could have four percent organic matter I think that would be very good. One of the goals of the project of course is to um, try to minimize the amount of chemical fertilizers that are being used and also to reduce the amount of uh, chemicals that are reduced, being used to control weeds in the crops. And so we're, we're thinking that the crop diversity will certainly help us uh, control weeds and, and also be uh, uh, producing mineralized nitrogen throughout the growing season. We'll have more videos of this nature as the, as the season develops uh, in the next couple of days. This is the date today is August 6th. We will be combining the wheat that you see in these fields in the next couple of days and then we'll have uh, another video that will give us an opportunity to report the yields on these, uh, on, in this uh, integrated cropping and beef system study. So for now, this is Doug Lamblum from the Dickinson Research Extension Center, signing off.